This is such a great mouse catching device. Well, it almost looks like a fun child toy. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna see how many mice we can catch in the barn with this 3D printed spinning mouse trap known as the Mouse Whirl. Now, I recently saw this mouse trap for sale on Amazon and it was advertised as a high volume mouse trap. And I was curious how well this version worked. Now, I say this version because this style of mouse trap has been around a very, very long time. I've already posted a video about a book written over 430 years ago, written by a man named Mascal. There he describes different styles of mouse traps, including one he calls the Mascal Mill. It's basically the same style. So this trap has been around for centuries catching mice. But in the last few years, I've noticed 3D printed versions showing up on the market like this one. There's also a very similar style. I've already posted a video on this one. It works so well. It's basically the same trap, except it has pointy fins right here, and these are round. But because this one's for sale on Amazon, I wanna see if I can recommend it. First, we're gonna test it out by setting it up in a bucket and letting our pet mouse go out there. They're gonna to try to get the bait, and when they step on these paddles, they'll drop down. Then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can catch wild mice. This trap is extremely simple to set up. You have a five gallon bucket. You place it on the edge right here. That's very solid. You'll need to add a ramp. The mouse will come up there, try to get the bait on the end, and when it walks out, it will spin and drop down in your bucket. You know, there's divots on the end of the paddle. That's for the bait. I like to use peanut butter. That will draw them out, both sides. Ooh, that will be irresistible to the mice. It looks like a foolproof trap. Let's go get our pet mice and test it out. Okay, mouse, let's give this trap a whirl. Let's try one of our smaller mice. Here's another one. It feels secure when it's standing on the rod, but as soon as the center of gravity moves to the side, it will drop down. It worked well with our pet mice, but can we catch wild mice in the barn? Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens.
Well, last night our test for the Mouse World 3D printed Muscal Mill Mousetrap worked extremely well. There's four mice in the bottom of the bucket, but actually we caught many more mice, or the same mice many more times. The more athletic ones were able to jump out, but they come back, try to get more bait, and fall down. If we made it a kill trap with water in the bottom of the bucket, nothing would escape. But if you want to make this a live catch trap, you need a taller bucket. Now what we caught down here in this barn are a native species called a deer mouse. Because they're part of the natural ecosystem, instead of killing them, I'm going to set them free. If you want to buy this trap, I'll put a link down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube testing out all different kinds of mouse traps. And I'm currently posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Okay mice, you're free to escape. Thanks for watching.